We truly do appreciate it. And we want to start off by talking about red and blue politics. Every election cycle, we see dozens of articles suggesting that Texas is turning blue. We hear it over and over again, but this seems to never actually happen, right? For the last few elections, Republicans, they've dominated in Texas elections. Okay, so the major, we we're discussing this, the major metro areas primarily leaning blue, but the rest of the state, not so much. As we know, Democrats haven't won a statewide office since 1994. So let's discuss the competition in the state. So first, um, Dr. Flavin, does Texas have a chance of turning blue or can we expect to see little to no change when we're talking about that. It's kind of like one of those hot button issues that people just love to, to discuss, but what are you seeing? It, it seems like uh, Texas turning purple is always one election away. And so uh, if you look at, at the past couple elections, Texas has become more competitive. Uh, Donald Trump beat Joe Biden by only five and a half uh, percentage points in the last election. Uh, so what I'll be looking for is, um, by how much uh, Trump uh, defeats Harris, so the AP has called the, the state of Texas for, for Trump, but whether Harris is able to improve on, on Biden's margin in 2020. Mm, all right, so some good insight right there. Now I wanna ask Dr. Dixon, what do you kind of think about this? Will Texas stay red? I mean, does the numbers show this? Does the research back this? Or is it Democrat enough to maybe turn blue this time? Well, I think the demographics of Texas have been changing in a way uh, that makes Texas less red than it was before. Um, but that's a long-term process, and there's no guarantees on that. Um, one thing that we know is that political parties are able to change over time, uh, and they may well change their appeal to different demographic subgroups over time uh, in response to changes in the demography of the nation. 